Luke Leatherman with Fueling Parts here to showcase our billet cylinder head breathers for the Milwaukee 8 cylinder heads. I stress billet. Part number 3250. Billet because the factory uses plastic. Mickey Mouse. Let's go into some features and benefits here of the billet aluminum fueling breathers. Right here, nice unit. We've optimized all the space that the factory's given us to allow optimized breathing here. And we've used, utilized every square inch that we can. We've made it modular to our vented dipsticks where we're using the same filter element and breather valve, umbrella valve on the internals, which is also modular to the twin cam engine. Components that are readily available easy to service. We've got a, our opening right here. This is where the breather's gonna breathe through. Um, it's a kind of a hood application here, which is gonna protect the opening from oil going in. We've got a dual screen setup where you've got a disc that's gonna go in, the filter element, and then you can see the uh, umbrella valve has a disc on the bottom side on the underneath, and that's gonna go in here. And you can see that the valve seals around the aluminum body and you've got the pressure that's gonna come in here and when it needs to breathe, it's gonna open up the umbrella valve and it's gonna cruise around. We got area on the underside of the cap. We have this little gnorp that keeps pressure, holds pressure down on the umbrella valve. And then the pressure is gonna go through the body of the breather and it's gonna go through the cylinder head. And from there, it's either gonna route into your intake manifold through the intake track and or for those of you running external breathers, it'll vent to atmosphere. So another feature that we added here is the double O-ring setup. We made our nipple a little bit longer than what the factory uses so that we could install a dual O-ring because a problem that we found early on is the factory does not machine the mounting point. It's the cast finish. So you have the machined bore and then you have a cast finish here and very commonly does it cock the breather one direction or another. So we added the extra O-ring to help seal it. I'll give you a visualization of how the breather looks in here. A performance aspect of our breather system compared to the factory is that our breathers will hold a vacuum inside the engine and how you know that you so see you go out for a ride, get your bike up to operating temperature. We most we frequently check the sump level when we're doing our testing. Uh, for one, it tells you the condition of the oiling system and the condition of the engine. But one thing that you'll see with using these breathers as proof to show you that they're holding the vacuum is you can drain the sump and say on an engine that you know you would normally get say seven, eight ounces out of. With the use of our breathers, you pull the drain plug out of the bottom of the engine case and you might only get three or four ounces out. And then once you crack the dipstick in front of a factory sealed up dipstick setup, the remaining three, four ounces will drain from there. So it tells you that the engine's holding a vacuum. A problem associated with these OEM breathers of, you know, being that they are plastic, the Milwaukee 8 runs excessive temperatures up in the cylinder heads and we get distortion inside these plastic breather elements, which then cause an issue with how the umbrella valve seals. And when the umbrella valve doesn't seal, it's awful hard to have a breather that works. The fueling breather system has five drain holes. We want to make sure that that oil gets out of the breather, any oil that gets in, where the factory unit has two. And these are somewhat prone to, you know, getting clogged when you have oil in them. So having the excess drain holes allows more to drain out. Fueling billet cylinder head breathers for the Milwaukee 8 cylinder heads. Run the best or choke with the rest.